Simplistic here back with another video if you couldn't tell from the title it is another cure video you know as with the dip and all the other products that I've been getting lately you know we gotta we gotta break them in a little bit so uh, I'm planning on making multiple videos with this I'm planning on bringing it with uh, with me to some vlogs you know so I'm definitely gonna give it its run for its money but you guys know the cure I really really enjoyed its form factor, its portability, and the fact that it's so small but it still has water filtration. That to me is just outstanding. And in today's video, I just picked up some uh, wild garden, as you can see right here. Hopefully it focuses. I'm uh, still getting used to the focusing on this camera guys, so please uh, bear with me. Let me see, I think, I think he had a like do that or something I don't know there it is so this one is I don't even know what this is uh, sci-fi sauce bastard focus right there and then right here it's the stuff hopefully you can see it guys I'm sorry and then we got punch bear they're still pretty much cold from taking it out of the freezer or the fridge as you can see let me just read it Fuck. this one uh the punch berry is 76.15 percent this one is 74.70 the sci-fi um and let's just open the sci-fi so we're gonna open the sci-fi sci first this one is a sativa i believe this was 26 out the door at nrc so not bad Ooh, still fucking cold. You can still see it's fucking the perspiration on it, or whatever the hell they call it. Precipitation? Fuck, I don't know. Ooh, that smells really, really good. Very similar raw garden taste, if you've, you know, or smell. Mm, very, very much reminiscent of the older ones that have that citrusy smell. Ooh, Sativa, Sci-Fi 43. Let's check this one out. So yes, we are going to be session off the, the Cure. But let's just open some of these things first. So get a better understanding of what we're working with here. So we're pretty much probably going to be the same uh, appearance. Yeah, pretty much. But, yeah, I'm still good, right? Ooh. What the fuck? Punch berries, brothers. All right. Say what you want about Raw Garden. You know, they may taste very similar, but the, the taste is good. You know what I mean? Way better than that CRC taste. That is, like, even though it's a different brand, it'll still have that same taste. You know what I mean? Raw Garden. Raw Garden's taste is... It's just in its own, you know, other companies do have similar tastes to Raw Garden, but it's like they set the bar for the taste, I, f I feel like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But if you didn't see the first video, guys, this is the piece right here. You just, uh, I like how they do this instead of a screw on or a magnetic. But then again, with time, we'll see if that's, uh, it gets annoying if it gets gunked up, right? So... Is. Let's try the sci-fi. This smells fucking phenomenal. Let's see. Pack a decent size hit. Oh shit! Hell, I forgot. The bubbler. Dude, if you can get water filtration, get water filtration. You know what I mean? There's a reason why it's there. What's interesting is that this like a valve thing right here. There's like a thin line that water won't go through, but it will 
or wait, I don't even know. It's only it only goes through when you suck it. I don't know. Let me just uh, shake it. With the thing being this small, it's definitely gonna get gunked up a lot quicker. That's why you can you can kind of uh, hear the restriction already. But you know, what I mean, it is what it is. I love it. Love this device. And I've only used it like for one day. We're gonna see. We'll see what it's all about. Turn this on. Oh, it's on already. So I was running it at 13 watts yesterday. Still gonna run it at 13 watts. Cheers, guys. You see that? It actually runs up the how much time did you you uh, hold it. So it was running up. I think it was like at 25 seconds. <laughs> hmm. Let's get a better view of it. The bubbler. <laughs> Ooh, the taste is there. So. Like I said in the, the dedicated video on this, just a dope piece to take with you hiking, dare say maybe the movie theaters if you're daring. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because obviously it's kind of illegal and stuff, but you know, let's just say you are in the theaters and um, it's just you and your friends in there. Why not, right? Why the fuck not? Water filtration, easy to pack, it's there. Ooh, pack some more. And then uh, I might need to turn up the the heat a little bit we'll see let me just uh, pack this real quick now, like I said in my uh, video on it this is not gonna replace an e-rig this is for the I would say the portable stoner you know what I mean the guy who doesn't want to carry that expensive piece you know just for the function or whatever this cheers guys Ooh, this raw garden, this sci-fi sauce is one of the terpiest raw gardens I've had, hands down, like, not like of this year, hands down, what the fuck, the sci-fi sauce, that's what I, like, the things that tend to be more saucy when it comes to raw garden, have the more, more flavor in terms, uh, at least to me, you know, when it's like more of a sugary consistency, it's still terpy, don't get me wrong, but when it's the sauce, man, Ooh. I forgot to actually turn that up, so let's turn that up to 16. So we turn that up. Hopefully it's focusing. Focus. God damn it. Alright. With that, we'll let that chill for a bit. We're gonna pack some of the punch berry actually. But yes, this one smells really, really good. I'm honestly excited to try this. Kind of smells like purple punch, but like with more. Maybe purple punch and a, uh, I don't know. Oh wow. <laughs> wow. I think I chose right on these new raw gardens. What the hell? When was the manufacturer? April 1st. March 29th. Oh, it's probably, it could be because they're really, really fresh. They kept it refrigerated, or it's just the strain itself. Punchberry and Sci Fi 43. Oof. Wow. I am blown away by how tasty that was. Obviously, it's going to be very similar to raw garden flavors that you've had before, but there's something more to it. I don't know. It's just, it's more sweeter. I don't know. It's just, it's, I'm, I'm blown away. 
And to think like, if, have you seen this first video? It's the, the typical atomizer, you know, with the coarse rod and stuff. This shit works, you know what I mean? It, obviously, you're gonna have to balance the wax onto the rod and stuff, but, but yeah, if you work around that, it, this thing is a fucking hitter, I swear. <laughs> Whew. Let's get a thumbnail for this. I don't even know if I got one like that or something. Hmm. Or maybe with the fucking... Alright, no. Hmm. Oh yeah, no. Alright, here. Is it like that? Alright, let's pack another fucking hit. Let's pack a hit of both, and then we're probably going to end the video here. I'm going to take another hit for you right here, and then blow it towards the, the fan or the light to show you guys that we ain't fucking around with, with small hits here, you know? Even though, you know, people like to get on me for not packing fat dabs or whatever the hell. Like, it's like, bruh, really? Out of all the things to gripe about, you know, it's the, the size of someone's dabs. Like, damn, brother. Gotta get your priorities straight if that's your concern. Especially, like, someone online, you know? Like, that you don't know personally. Like, bro, we, we just here trying to get high, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't know it was, you know, like a race or anything. But if it is, you winning. Fuck okay, it, you win, you win. Might I say, this is pretty easy to pack. You just put it on on the coil and it just it'll slowly melt down. But overall, dope piece. Hopefully you enjoyed this sesh video. It's in a lightweight, um, kind of like like a product video, but it's not really about the product. I'm just rifting, you know what I mean? Just going with the flow, but cheers guys. Ooh, that was freaking tasty. All right. Mm. Peace out, guys.